there were strong anti-suffrage forces in Tennessee, uh, which were really complicated a great deal by race because there was a belief that enfranchising women was one thing in, ten in the South or in Tennessee, but enfranchising African-American women was something that many uh, state legislators did not support. They believed that the youngest state legislator, Harry Byrne, was a no vote. He had been advocating that he was a no vote and been voting along with the anti-suffragists all along in several procedural votes previously. What the suffragists didn't know was that Harry Byrne had received a letter from his mother earlier in the day. And she was not a suffragist, but she was a supporter of women voting. She wasn't an active uh, proponent, but she was a supporter of women voting. And she wrote to her son, to Harry Byrne, and said, uh, Harry, I don't like the way that you've been voting the past couple of days. Be a good boy and support Carrie Catt, who was the, the lead suffragist, the lead pro-suffragist on the 19th Amendment side. And so Harry Byrne was very affected by this letter from his mother, and he changed his vote and became the state legislator who put the 19th Amendment over the top, ratifying um, the amendment in Tennessee, and of course, preempting it for inclusion in the Constitution.